Hi everyone. So in this case, uh, we have the input as visit log table and it has the below columns. We have the user ID. We have the username. We have the user visit location. That is the location to which the user has visited and the user visit time. So this is kind of uh, the logs of the user to the places uh, he or she has visited. OK, so each entry indicates the location to which the user was spotted. Now what we need to do is as part of the output, we have to find out where the user was present at the end of the day. OK, where on each day, where was the user present based on this data that is present? So for example, the user Shivangi Kumari. So she was spotted on 1st of August only on one location that is Bengaluru. So that will be our output for 1st of August. Talking about 6th of August, the user was spotted on two locations that is Pune and Mumbai. And the last location where the user was present is Mumbai. So that's why on 6th of August for this user, the entry will be of Mumbai. The Pune entry will be discarded. Similarly for user Yuras Sinha, on the same day that is 25th of August, he is present on two locations and the last location is Bengaluru. Okay, so that's why for this user, there will be only one entry. For user Preeti Dube, she is present on two locations, but they are of different dates. So that's why both the entries will be present in the output. So for the user, if there are multiple entries on particular day, then we have to consider the last entry. That is what the requirement here is. So let's now uh, work on the solution here, how we can approach to get this output. So basically, we can use the window ranking functions. We can partition based on the user because we have to operate on the user and the date. OK, so. We have to rank based on the user and the date and see where the user is on that particular day and we can rank based on this column user visit date time in descending order. So as to obtain the rank one for the latest day. OK, so for example, for 6th of August, if we partition by, we will have this as one of the groups and then we can order it based on the descending order such that we will get rank one for this rank two for this and then we can filter to keep only the entries where rank is one. So this way we can find out the solution. So let's work on writing the query now. OK, so. Uh, we will operate on this visit log table. So select from visit log. OK, we will keep all the columns as it is. And now we will write the rank function. So we will partition by the user ID. And then we have to partition based on the date. But here we have the timestamp. So out of this timestamp, we have to fetch only the date part for that we can use the function date part and we can specify what we need to fetch out of this timestamp so we can say we want to fetch the date that can be specified using the day as the parameter and then specify the column name okay so on this we will do the grouping or the partitioning and then once the grouping is done, once we have selected this group, now we have to specify in which order the ranking has to be applied. So for that, we will use the order by clause and say that we want the ordering based on user visit time in the descending order. So that, for example, this should get rank as one and this one should get rank as two. And let's name this column as rank R and K. And now let's run this to see the output. OK, so as we discussed, we have obtained the rank accordingly. 
So on 1st of August, there is only one rank. For 2nd of August, in this grouping, on this date, we have two ranks. Okay. Similarly, for this user as well, for the same date, we have two ranks. But for this user, since the dates are different, there will be different groupings and there will be, hence, there will be different ranks provided. So now what we need to do is, the last step is, just to retain the entries where the rank is 1 and just remove all the other entries. So for this, we can use the simple filter filtering here. So what we will do is, whatever data we have just generated, let's uh, use it as an inner query. Let's give it alias as T. Okay, and so we are operating on the data that we just generated we are operating on this data so we don't want this rank column but we want the rest of the columns so let's mention all the other columns here user visit location user visit time from this uh, query and we will add the filter where rank is equal to one now let's run this so let's check the output. So we have now got the output. So the for the user on 1st of August, we have only one entry. And on 6th of August in the input, we had two entries. And in the output, we get only the latest entry. Similarly, for this user as well, we get the latest entry of Bengaluru. And finally, for the last user, as it is for different dates, we will get both the entries preserved. So we have obtained the output as required. Just uh, see the query again. So this is the solution that uh, we have built. Okay, so we have just partitioned based on the user ID and the date part. We have ordered based on the timestamp column that is there in descending order. And finally, we have filtered with rank equal to one, keeping all the required columns. So if you have any alternate solution, please post it in the comments. And if you found this video useful, please like the video and please subscribe the channel if you have not yet subscribed. Thank you.